Okay guys, for this um, sketchbook demo, we are going to go ahead and um, do some basic um, drawing. Um, and so here are our goals. For today, we're gonna do basic volumes um, to prepare for our video game design unit. Um, you wanna start off with a sharp pencil. Okay, and this will lead into human anatomy practice. At the top you can write. Basic drawing practice. That's a mess. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, you should have your sketchbook for today, your sketchbook and your sketch kit for today. And make sure you're periodically, you have a bunch of sharp pencils. So go ahead and make sure you're going to the front to make sure all of the pencils are nice and sharp. Okay, and we're going to start off by going, um, to light. Just do a variety of marks on the on your sketchbook to just warm up, practicing different light values and light to dark, light to dark, dark to light, dark to light. So line weight is something like, are you thinking about how fat and thick your lines are while you're drawing? You can give yourself a score out of four. I'll give myself a four out of four. Okay, and we're gonna just explore, experiment with mark making. Mark making with two different grips. So this is tripod grip. You can get more precise marks. And this is overhand grip. And I wanna see you guys. Practice doing some curvy marks. Maybe some more subtle marks. Maybe some quick marks, some short ones, some fast ones. Maybe you're gonna practice doing some hatching or some scribbling or a mini value scale. Right, or some more erratic lines that could show emotion, tell the story. Um, maybe you're going to do some wisps. Okay, and dark light. And one thing, um, as we're practicing all these different lines and these marks, one thing that I always emphasize is um, doing ellipses. So... An ellipses is basically like an oval. I'm just doing like these fast marks and then having them go from dark to light. Maybe you wanna do some circles, but you wanna feel like not afraid with your pencil. And the beautiful thing with an ellipse is it can help you to create, you know, like a basic volume. Like you can make this into a um, cylinder, right? So you should always be thinking, where is my light coming from? Because that's what makes something 3D is a light source. And then you can have these curvy lines that wrap around the cylinder and make it 3D. This would be where my light's coming from. Something that the video game art class recommends is do an ellipse and then just fill it with hatching. Try doing basic shapes, like a cube, fill it with hatching. 
another one, fill it with hatching. But we're just thinking about speed as we're doing these warm ups. Um, another thing that's helpful as we're doing overhand grip is how fast can you do a quick value scale? So make a scale, divide it into five. One in the middle, cut, cut. And can you go from a four to a zero? Four, three, two, one. And then slowly lighten it up. We have tragedy in my house. Now these two values look the same. So I'm gonna bring this down. Go lighter, go lighter. So this is like a zero. So these are all sorts of different things we can do. Let's see if the crying stops. Um, as far as like going from shape to form, you can practice doing a line and then bending it down and then doing a cube like this. Again, doing a line down, down, down. And this shape will help when we do our box figure study in a second. So line, bend down, bend down. And then if your light's coming from here, there's my light, then I would have shading here. And then I would have shading here. So this is how we go from shape, something that is 2D, to a form, something that is 3D. Um, other basic forms. Um, if you want to do a box from the top, you kind of, I'm going to zoom in. Oops. Can't zoom in. You're going to go ahead and... Start by drawing a diamond, do a line down, parallel line, parallel line, parallel to this, this. And you can do a box from the top. Light's coming from here. So this side would be darker. This would be my more my mid value. So it's just like basic practice. Um, to draw a cylinder like we just did, you do the ellipse vertical line, and then just half of it down at the bottom. You could add more hatching on the front. The light's coming from here. This side, obviously, the top and bottom would be darker. So just like breaking down how to do basic structures. Basic warm up. If you wanna do advanced lighting and values, um, you can combine forms into one space. So let's say you have a cylinder, right? It's three-dimensional, right? And then let's say there's another cylinder behind it, ellipsy. And let's say the light is coming from here. Right, there would be a cast shadow going across. And then there would be a shadow here and it would go dark to light. And maybe this, because the light's coming from here, maybe this side of the cylinder would be darker. And then you can work on playing with the values. If something is coming forward, like this line is gonna be heavier and this one's gonna kind of disappear into the distance. You could even bring it down to a middle value in the back. And then really add some hatching to darken that. If you wanna give the sense that the shadow is moving across, you wanna make the lines go in that direction. Um, let's practice doing that again. So this is what my sketchbook page looks like so far. 
just going to move over a little so I have a space tight in. Let's say I have a col collection of cylinders. Okay, so let's make a tall one with an ellipse. Down, down. And then ellipse on the bottom. Notice how I'm hardly using an eraser. I'm not worried about making a mistake. Ooh, this eraser is dirty. Right, so let's say the light is coming from here. And then let's say I have a shorter one down here that's totally engulfed in shadow, like in the video game design book unit that we're studying. And then let's say, I now have a circle. Let's say I have that same cylinder laying down. So if the light's coming from there, right, from the front, this side will be in shadows. And then I still want to make this 3D, feel 3D, even though it's all in shadows. So let's say you decide on the shadow angle. I'm going to have this come out a little bit further. So the shadow would kind of come up, do a bunch of little ellipses across. I'll clarify my relationships here. There's no such thing as too many lines. Too many lines. And then I'm going to just bring down the value to tell the story of the shadow. Darken that, clarify that that's the end. Darken this. I'm kind of holding my sketchbook at a weird angle. Let's make this work. Really emphasizing the edge with some like heavier line weight. Like showing that this is the end of the form. I'll oh, see, I went over that a little. I'm gonna pull this up. Confuses my drawing. But this is like in dark shadows. And then this is in shadows as well. Light coming from here. Maybe I'm gonna smooth out the transition a little bit more. Maybe darken this, because the shadow's going all the way across. Maybe I wanna continue it even farther. Tell that story and then bring this at a mid value. Erase my extra lines, clean things up. Go in a different direction from the shadow. Okay. So, zoom out. So, where are we going with this assignment? Well, we've practiced doing basic volumes, 3D volumes, 3D volumes, right? And the key to drawing something 3D is to have a consistent light source. Can I draw, um, can I break down a human being into different boxes, right? Something that's like proportionally accurate. So as a warm up to that, let's go ahead and let's draw a human being that is like standing in an interesting posture. Like we want a dynamic posture and not just, you know, something where something looks um, like flat and 2D. We want our, our human anatomy studies to be 3D and coming out with form. So if I were to break down a person into um, different, like to show his posture and just shape, this could be his hips. These could be 
his thighs coming in, but kind of hanging out because the gravity, the center of gravity needs to be even. So usually people have their belly sticking out, thigh, and then usually their calf comes back here. Ooh, I'm running out of space. Right, and then this would be the foot. Ran out of space down there. And again, hatch, 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 hatch. This is just 2D. Hatch, 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 hatch. Hatch, 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 hatch. Hatch, 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 and then here we have the calf. So it's kind of like the posture of a human being. 2D. 2D human proportions. Proportions of a human. Proportions has to do with like size. Sort of accurate. Can I go to 3D and make this dynamic posture? Mm -hmm. See, take a minute, sharpen your pencil if you need to. Okay. So let's start with the head. I'm gonna do a volume, a cube. Okay, now what's tricky is this box. It's all about thinking about angles when you're drawing. It's kind of like at the same angle. But it's facing up. So this part's facing up. Mm -hmm. This is the thigh. And I'm going to run out of space again. This kind of goes in a little. Thinking about angles, warming up. gonna commit a crime. I'm gonna erase this. Can I make this accurate this relationship accurate? These angles are the same. And then this side is going out a little bit further. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is 3D. Okay, so this is kind of like, this would be the head, basic human anatomy, torso. Um, we would call this the pelvis. 
the thighs, maybe the calves or the ankles and the feet. Fun fact, the human head is about eight heads tall, right, for a grown up. So when you're thinking about how tall someone is, but this is kind of like how someone would stand with the different landmarks of their human anatomy. Fascinating. So now for the proving behavior, I want you to pick a classic drawing and I want you to turn it into a box, right? A classic human anatomy. You could go like this, you could do this, um, but I'm gonna try to do boxes, so I'm picking this one. Please ignore my children. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so just so you guys know, I'm working from this. So can I break this down into a box? Dun, 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 dun. Based on what's going on with the shadows. But it's tricky. Can you break it down into planes? Hey, Jacob. So right now I'm like breaking it down into shapes and I'm just seeing so much detail, right? Like I'm having this experience where it's just completely overwhelming. And so breaking it down into boxes is harder, but I think it's a good way to like train my, okay, this is a box. This is a cube right here. This is the second half. So this is a box right here. And I feel like there's a different, maybe it's a box shaped like this. Now it's getting all mucked up. Okay, but I'm gonna start to make some choices about lighting. Okay, there's definitely a shadow right there. Um, I'm going to try to stick to my forms for my warm up. This is definitely in shadow. This is definitely in shadow. This is definitely in shadow. Oh, this is hard. Um, doo -doo -doo. As far as a pelvis, which way is the box shaping? And you could break down into like another form. Really think of the hand like a box. If you were to break the hand. Jacob, come on, man, I'm filming. So in video game design, in order to make a human look 3D, 
You could think about breaking down the human form into boxes, a la Minecraft, maybe. And then you got the fingers right there. I don't know if that's an accurate box. I am not gonna stress, but you could see how it's kind of like bent. And then this is the thigh. Breaking the thigh down into a box. And then, gosh, the foot. I feel like the foot is its, has its separate joint before the foot. And then these are the toes. A little long, I think. Right, but it's something. You never did the other thigh. I feel like the other thigh is a giant box. I'm always asking myself, what angle is it at? This part of the thigh is really in shadow. Mm -mm. This is the knee. I feel like the leg, that's an incorrect angle is actually going like this. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. So this is what you're going to do for homework, guys. So go crazy. And then you should start to plan your different Rendering so you should I imagine you need to take pictures Right, you, you may not want to use classic paintings and drawings But yeah This goes off the page this foot so I'm not gonna trip about that. Let's pretend the toes are Just make a choice which one. All right, so I went ahead and broke it down underneath 30 minutes um, if you want to do extra credit, you know, you can do, oops, you can do a fast, like actual sketch, like a realistic study, you know, next to it and then, um, see if it helped you to like understand the angles a little bit more. You could do that fast gesture study right by See if you could break it down into ellipses and kind of like the natural way to draw. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this done before my kids start to scream. Um, and then please do studies of feet. And ooh, ooh, you see how I see the shape of the spine. Right, so, so like doing both, drawing the accurately, proportionally accurate um, human figure and um, the boxes, it's gonna help you. Like think about things like angle angles, like this shoulder is higher, this shoulder is lower right this is like and then you're going to start to notice more things about muscles because you took the time to like break it down don't get stuck about like details like for the eyes you could just do a little and then you find yourself starting to put in planes because you're thinking about things in boxes like there, this is actually kind of like the side because the light is coming from here. 
And notice how this person like went ahead and did studies of feet. This is, and, and you don't skip things, right? Because you realize that this is a separate form. So if you get a little lost, I can always return back and I could think about the boxes. Right, and I can just do that plane, breaking down the human body into planes. Running out of space. He's reading. That's what you should do. Do your homework. I'm drawing so much, it's just about erasing and making adjustments. Something isn't working. You go in, you could draw that collarbone. You can actually see the muscle. And you just kind of like make adjustments. I need like, I feel like the understanding that his weight is like going this way is really important for this drawing to make sense. So it's like everything, all of the weight of the body is kind of falling back on this elbow. Look, there's a nipple here. Maybe I can get a knuckle in. You don't want to leave the hand a total mess. Don't obsess about getting every detail right. Okay. So yeah, I would keep working. I'm kind of like running out of space, but for like the full credit, I would continue to do human, like draw the gestures the dynamic gestures, the dynamic, have someone act out the story of your video game. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get those pictures taken. Notice how I'm using ellipses to kind of make it curvy around, clarifying the relationships. I feel like the torso is bigger. Nipple. This guy's bald head. Wispy hair. You can give him whatever hair you want, guys. So much of drawing is about getting the like negative space. So is is this helping me? Yeah, I would say. Like this is helping me think about like the different forms. There's different forms inside of the human body. Okay, I'm gonna go. Good luck.